During a Senate meeting on the Ides of March, Caesar was assassinated. Sitting on a podium in the Roman Senate just after noon, Caesar found himself surrounded on all sides. The Roman dictator was stabbed to death 23 times in a bloody affair. In the immediate aftermath, Decimus provided security for the conspirators. His group of gladiators also served as a private security force, and they escorted the assassins from the Senate floor to safety, protecting them in the chaotic days that followed. What goes around comes around, however. Less than two years after the fatal Ides of March assassination, Decimus was executed after his soldiers turned on him. The following year, two of the other main conspirators, Brutus and Cassius, committed suicide after losing the Battle of Philippi. In relation to Rome, the events that transpired after the assassination of Caesar were not the ones desired by the senators. The Roman Republic eventually fell after a series of civil wars and skirmishes, giving rise to the Roman Empire. The first emperor of Rome was none other than Caesar's adopted son and grandnephew, Octavian, who renamed himself Augustus Caesar. History knows him as simply Augustus, who went on to rule the Roman Empire for four decades, between 27 BC and 14 AD. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and hit the bell to turn on notifications. Also hit the like button and share this content with your friends. If you would like to support this work, please visit insighthistory.com forward slash support and see the description below for more information. I hope you are well and more videos are coming soon.